Hi, my name is Wendy Wang and I am the Marketing Associate at IIT Convergence. This video is part of a series of educational videos on doing business in China. Today I will go over some common business etiquettes that differ between the two countries. These differences are reflected in the culture differences. Understanding this will help a company perform better in both the short and long run. First impressions. A common mistake Americans make when doing business in China is overlooking the importance of making a positive first impression. In America, a bad first impression can be quickly overcome. But in China, practices and negative images can last for a long time and even ruin business sales. First impressions are based on adequate and greeting rituals that vary greatly between the two countries. This relates to the importance of developing good relationships. The initial effort when conducting a business meeting is 80 to 90 percent focused on a good relation with the client. This is opposite to the American approach, where the objective is always to stick strictly to the business and close the deal. Social structure. In China, the social structure is formal and hierarchical. People know where they fit in the structure and abide by the rules there. There is no crossing into other areas. In America, it is much more loose and informal. It is not uncommon to see those of virus level socializing and there are very few lines that are not allowed to be crossed. This can cause problems in business relationships if Americans are not aware of the Chinese business hierarchy. Business deals. Where Americans value disclosure and transparency with negotiation business deals, the Chinese rely more on subtlety and trust. For example, while it is normal in the U.S. to ask for financial information and sales figures before initiating a contract, this is not appropriate and even considered rude in Chinese practices. In China, the majority of business are done over days of dinners, lunches, and social gatherings aimed at developing trust and relationships, with talks of business details every now and then. Opposite to the methodical American approach of laying out requirements, sales, financial statements, etc., Chinese people will literally invest millions of dollars with nothing more than a handshake. It is all about trust. Socialize to sell. In China, business sales is hardly regarded as a profession and often looked as a solo functional entertainer. Socializing is often more important than the business itself. Thus, business becomes secondary as the parties get to know each other, often over alcohol and karaoke. Even if it delays a contract, it is totally acceptable as long as the correct social time is allotted for. In American, businessmen are more aloof. There might be social gathering, but the business is more important, and socializing will be sacrificed to get the job done if needed. Big business conclusions. The manner in which to conclude a business meeting is probably the most frustrating to both Chinese and Americans when doing business together. Chinese business is largely inconclusive, open-ended, and uncommitted. American meetings are not finished until there is a conclusion. If there is no deal or next step, it is considered unsuccessful. In Chinese business, it is considered rude to try force an answer or a conclusion. This issue can quite often upset a negotiation as American business people have it ingrained to achieve an end. Following this logic, Americans write and honor business contracts to the minute detail. Whereas in China, if a contract can is offered at all, it is seen as a rough guideline which can be bent or broken at any time as long as it makes sense. Since 1998, IT Convergence has helped dozens of multinational companies to implement Oracle in China to support business expansion. We have over 16 years of professional and technical experience in this area. I hope you have found this presentation helpful and feel free to check out our other videos. Please visit our website or call us for more information. Thank you.